Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestler Godsmith. Um, like I said last night, uh, I've been thinking about the whole uh, Brian Cage thing, about his career in AEW. Uh, I'm telling you, I don't think this dude's gonna be world champion. I don't. I don't even think that he's gonna have a great career because the way Taz is kind of booking him and him being the mouthpiece for him, it, it just doesn't work. He's a he's a phenomenal athlete, but the problem with the guy is that. He's not his own mouthpiece. He's, he's not his own dude. And to me, he's kind of looking like he's not doing so well. And I'm telling you guys, that this dude this dude is literally, he's a walking, he's literally like a Brock Lesnar, another big dude out there who has the strength to be a champion, to, to do it. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking now, you know... <sighs> I don't think he's gonna do it. I don't think he's gonna be AEW champion. It just it it just doesn't work. It it really doesn't because the dude is just because even with Taz's promo last night that I saw, I'm just I can't. I I want to believe this dude is the next big thing, but I just can't because there's so many guys that have been called that in you know in professional wrestling. Brian Cage is not the guy. He's great. You, you took him from Impact and made him a something. And I'm just like, you know what? He should have been left in Impact if this dude was supposed to be. And I'm, I'm thinking this 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 match, this bout we're having at Fighter, uh, Fighter Fest for the title, I just think it's not even worth it. Because even if Mac, uh, Mox does beat him, and I already see this happening because he's, he's not going to let that belt go. He's not. I mean, it would be a different story if he had to give up the boat because of the, the COVID, but that's not going to happen. And I, I just feel like he's not going to do – he's not going to do it. Dude's literally, literally a champion. He's championship material, but he's just not the guy. I've seen guys like him – a thousand times in Impact and wrestling and in NXT with Dominic Dejkovic. I, it, it boggles me because, and I've said this before, it boggles me when the dude showed up. I'm glad that he won the the roulette match to become, for the shot to become the AEW World Champion. And even if Mox did lose, it's, it's he's going to lose clean. I don't think he's going to lose clean. He's going to lose dirty because... Taz is going to get involved, and there's not going to be a disqualification thing going around. It, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot trying to do that dude, trying to give that dude a set. It, it's, it is. And like I said before, it's, it, it's it's so nuts that I don't think this dude's going to do it because I've seen what he, he he's he's beating up he's beating up jobbers, and this this is this is the thing I get annoyed with. You got a guy like him. He's he's just he's just beating he's chewing through jobbers. You, you don't even throw Lance Archer in his way, and I think that would have been a great match. Of Wardlow, or another big guy, or even Jeff Cobb. I mean, throw him in the mix. Brody, you, you can throw the guy in there, but like I said, um, like I said, it he just he's just not there. And I've said this before, even with Brody. And I just think this is the big, this is the big guy curse. I just feel like they're not booking this dude right. Like they're gonna murder, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna bury him on AEW. I already see it. Like they're gonna bury this dude on there because I don't even think he's gonna even get. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be an, it's gonna be a great match. It's gonna be a fantastic match, a fantastic belt. But my mindset is like, I'm looking long term with this guy. I'm looking long term with Butcher and Blade with the tag team development, everything, and I just don't see it working. Like I could see him doing something with 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 with, with, with Jake the Snake because Lance Archer can do something with him, and Taz is just this one dude that doesn't fit the bill. He doesn't fit it, and I'm sorry that he doesn't fit it because his promo. This, this promo went over my head. This promo, like he talks so much smack, and that's the thing. And him being a legend in the business, I, I, I just, my mind is like, 
really, Brian Cage? Out of all the dudes you could have got, you got this dude. You got him. I don't hate Taz. I don't hate the guy. But this dude doesn't do nothing. He literally does not do anything with him. That's the sad part. He doesn't do nothing. And they're putting him... Like, and this is the thing. Brian Cage is a... He doesn't need a mouthpiece. He doesn't need one. It just... I just don't see it, man. I don't see him being a champion. I don't see this dude actually doing what he says he's going to do. And, and, and the, mad, the, the, the madness is... That I just don't see him doing it. I don't. It, he's a great guy. He's a great competitor. I I, I I I don't get it. I I don't get it. I don't see him as the guy we want. I don't see him as the the champion. I just don't because he's a big guy. It it, it would be different. It, it it would be different if it was something else. If he was another guy. But he's not. He's Brian Cage. I just don't see it. I don't. I just don't see the guy as the, 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 the guy. Because I've seen him do a lot of stuff. Don't get me wrong. I've seen this guy do tons and tons of stuff. But to me, this dude's not doing it for me. He's just not. Because he comes out here. And this is the thing. He's going to come out here. He's going to come out on Fire Fest. And literally just, 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 just do dumbness and this is the thing he's a muscle bound dude he's great he can do suplexes he literally threw jose like he was a like he was a football like he was a football that's the thing if you got a guy who can throw dudes like a football and toss them and, and power bomb them into the stage then you got a guy but I just don't see the point of putting this dude against Mox. He's gonna win. That's like a bet. That's like a sucker's bet. That dude's literally putting him in the title picture because Mox don't got nobody to fight. No one. He's probably got five other dudes to fight. Knowing about that, and what bothers me is that they can't put this dude. They won't put him against Wardlow, Jeff Cobb, um, Brody, just to name a few dudes. Like. AEW dude, and I feel like he's gonna just he's gonna be in the wayside. He's gonna be in the wayside. Just just like just like motor just like Lions Archer was with Cody. He's gonna be in the wayside. That dude is not gonna become champion. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if Taz did the Taz mission on, on, on Mox to knock him out so Brian can pin him. That's the thing, man. I, I, I just don't see him being a good thing for AEW. Because that's how I feel about taking a guy from Impact. You take him from Impact, this dude wasn't doing nothing then, isn't doing nothing now. It's just the same thing. AW is going to be the high, the most highly sought after freaking company besides WWE. And the sad part is, which is crazy enough as it is, I don't think he's going to do it. I don't think he's going to come out and do what he wants to do. I don't think he's going to run in. I don't think he's going to do it because here's my problem. This dude could do anything in the world and he won't do it. He won't do it. Because like I said, this dude is a big guy. With Taz's mouthpiece, he's gonna he's gonna suck. He's gonna suck. He's gonna suck so bad that the thing is it's like he's literally become a jobber beat right now. He's literally just beating up on jobbers. That's it. He's probably gonna do it to Marco. He's probably gonna do it with Jungle Boy. He's probably gonna do it with the dudes that he should could beat. And the funny thing is, look at Jake Hager. They don't even use that dude. That dude's barely getting anything. And he's a big dude. Like, 
like I said, I'm so I am so tired of that dude getting something like, like this not just getting the scraps. And this is what I'm talking about with Brian Cage. I I, I I'm so tired of that dude getting nothing, man. He gets nothing. He doesn't get nothing from it. He, does, he doesn't. He's like, he's literally, this dude is literally a big dude and he's got massive talent. But I don't think he's doing it. I, I think it's Taz is a dude as, as his manager or his mouthpiece. And I think they should have been like, yo, Taz should have been like, yo, Brian, I want you to become champion, not just yet. I want you to do it when Mox is done running through everybody he's running through. Not when this dude's on the hottest streak in the world right now. Like I said before, this dude is not doing it for me. He wasn't doing it then. That's the sad part. This dude doesn't get that he and he does so much that it's like it's like okay, we're gonna put him here because we can't. We're gonna move him here. No, if he was in the WWE right now, they would have booked him. He would have been playing. He would have had a great few with Dijakovic. He would have had a few with Keith. Yeah, he would have had a few with Cross. He would have been. He would have been the dude that we thought Goldberg, like the second coming of Goldberg. He would have been that good. See, and that's the thing with AEW. They'll take anybody. AEW has that problem. Not like WWE. They'll take anybody. They go to the Indies and take them. You're taking them from Impact, a third degree wrestling company that doesn't even do anything with them. Because, I mean, look at Rich Swan. That dude went from being a cruiserweight champion. From being an impact. Look at look at Rob, yo. And Rob Van Dam is still wrestling. That dude's probably 50. And he still won't do it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If Brian Cage can't do it and try to be the big guy, then he's not. I'm being real, guys. Like, I don't hate Brian Cage. This is not a rant video. If you guys are thinking it is, it's not. I'm just telling you, Brian Cage is not going to do it. I thought about it last night because I really wanted to think about it. Because I wanted to do more with him since my review video. He, he's, just, he's just not. He is just not the greatest guy in the world. Does he fit AEW? Like, I don't think he fits. I don't think he fits AEW as a whole. I don't think this dude fits the criteria. I don't think he fits. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.